Well, ho, 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 and happy holidays, everybody. DSP here, and welcome to the Week in Preview. It's actually Christmas night. That's right. It's Sunday, December 25th, 2016. I've had a few hours to rest my voice after my big Christmas in Chill stream, which I did earlier today. Uh, only on Twitch, by the way. If you missed out on that Christmas stream that I did earlier today, where I talked about a ton of of Christmas-related stuff, including revealing the gifts that Leanna and I gave to each other, and including talking about my family traditions on Christmas and the different decorating and food and things that I would do around Christmas time, and also uh, the traditions of when I would celebrate Christmas, when I'd exchange gifts, putting up my tree over the years. Uh, and then I did a lot of stream chat interactivity where I took everyone's answers from the stream chat and we talked a little bit about worldwide traditions on Christmas and stuff like that. If you missed it, Okay, check the description of this video. There's a link to Twitch TV where you can watch the video on demand at any time. I archived it and it's over there infinitely, okay? Just want to throw that out there. It's only on Twitch, okay? It's only going to be on Twitch TV. So you have to head over there and check it out if you want. Anytime that I do one of those kind of chill, chill style streams on Twitch, it's going to only be on Twitch. And that's pretty much probably the only kind of stream that I'm going to continue to archive over there on Twitch. All right. <clears throat> so funny because my voice has been shot. As you know, I've been sick. Um, I'm just finally starting to come out of it <clears throat> to the point where I sound semi-normal. But now the past two days, I've done some of the most talking intensive things I've ever done. Yesterday, I did my WWE 2K17 Holiday Fantasy Simulation matches. Now, first of all, those were, who were there live for the stream loved the matches. They were over the moon ecstatic about how fun they were. The widest variety of created characters I've ever used. Six different matches. There was actually a King of Christmas qualifying tournament. Listen, I know a lot of people were not available to watch the videos or the stream because it was the Christmas weekend. Check it out on DSP Gaming if you have it. I'm telling you, if you don't check this out, if you, oh, I don't like wrestling, I'm not going to check it out. Or, eh, it was not important, I'm just not. You are missing out on some of the funniest stuff of anything I've done this entire year. People were telling me that was the best gameplay stream I did all year. Okay, and I, I went full on, full commentary, balls to the wall, you know, exaggerations and, and everything. Sounding, trying to sound like a wrestling commentator for this. Even though my voice was incredibly hoarse, I did my best. People really seemed to love it. <clears throat> but, in typical YouTube fashion, it doesn't seem like many people are checking out the videos, which is a shame. I'm telling you, if you didn't want to check them out, you're missing out. So, please do so. Okay? Um, so, all Christmas related stuff this weekend. Now... Now that we're finally past the Christmas stuff, now that we're finally heading into the very end of the year and the beginning of the new year, lots of stuff that's going to be changing. Are all the ongoing playthroughs that I've been working on, such as Final Fantasy XV and Dead Rising 4, The Last Guardian, they're all done, okay? The only ongoing playthrough that I have is I do want to do one final session of Final Fantasy XV because there's two uh, high-ranked hunts that I want to do, and I've actually heard that there's one interesting side quest line that I may be interested in doing. But outside of that, I'm not even aware of anything else that I should be doing in Final Fantasy XV. In fact, I'll say this. If you played Final Fantasy XV and you're aware that there's something like really fun and critical and important that I missed out on. And I don't mean, oh, get the best Ultima weapon or whatever. We have to grind for four hours for the enemies to drop the item. I don't care about that. It's obvious you don't need that to do any of the higher stuff in the game because I've already beaten the Animantis and all that kind of stuff, okay? But if you're aware of a quest line I missed or a fight that I missed and you really want to see me do it, you got to contact me. I would say email me, darksidephil at hotmail.com. You could try tweeting me at they call me DSP, but I don't always catch all the tweets because I get hundreds of them every day. <clears throat> but please let me know because it looks like the next session I do of Final Fantasy XV is going to be the last. That's going to be the end of my playthrough. Okay? Um, but for an all, all intents and purposes, all the games are done except for Pokemon Moon. Now, here's the thing. Pokemon Moon <clears throat> is certainly not a playthrough that's gotten a ton of following. And it's not a playthrough, honestly, that I can do all the time. Because right now, especially my voice, it's hoarse. So there's no way that I can play Pokemon Moon every day because I'll lose my voice, okay? It's so much talking because I have to read all the dialogue that that's something that I have to balance with other stuff. So, that being said, starting this week, I'm going to put the gameplay streaming in your hands as the viewer, all right? When, as soon as I finish with this video I am and I upload it, I am going to post a poll on Twitter overnight tonight at the, the They Call Me DSP on Twitter. 
You're going to have four options that you get to vote on tonight. Uh, what you would like to see me play on Monday for my gameplay stream. All right, here are your options. Either Final Fantasy 15, where I do those final two hunts, and I check out that side quest line that someone tipped me off about, and anything else, anything else you want to tip me off about, okay? Please let me know. It could be that final session to end that playthrough. <laughs> or it could be... Uh, the continuation of Pokemon Moon, although honestly, I wish that I wouldn't be so I could rest my voice a little bit, but whatever. Um, or, hold on. It could be the start of either of these two new ongoing playthroughs, The Legend of Zelda Ogarina of Time 3DS, or Final Fantasy IV for the, for the Nintendo DS. Any of those four things are perfectly valid options for my gameplay stream tomorrow. And I'm going to leave it overnight in the hands of you, the viewers, to determine... I just knocked my box of tissues down. I'll just push them over here. Uh, to determine uh, what I'm going to be doing on Monday on stream. All right? Now, Monday night, I'm going to begin work on my review of Final Fantasy XV. I really doubt that I'm going to get my review of Final Fantasy XV out in one night. Because this game has been so polarizing for me. It's obviously a game I like, because look at how long I've played it, right? A ton. I mean, over 40 hours. How many games do I go back and do that much post-game and stuff? Almost none. But that being said, there's a lot of issues with this game that I really want to call out in the review and make known. So, that's really, I'm biding my time, and I'm going to try to work as hard as I can on this review to make it the basically the most fair and balanced review of Final Fantasy XV that I could possibly make for you, Okay. <laughs> So I'm going to begin work on that Monday night. I'm probably not going to finish it, but I'm going to start Monday night, okay? Tuesday, my gameplay stream is going to be the start of the patron multiplayer event. If you remember back in November, patrons were pledging to my Patreon for a multiplayer event. It's a closed multiplayer event <clears throat> in which I'm going to be playing uh, multiplayer games with them. Uh, cooperatively, it's going to be private sessions, okay? So it's not that, like, anyone could just join and ruin it for us, like trolls or whatever. Private sessions with the patrons. That starts on Tuesday, and there will be two games played on Tuesday. It'll be Battlefield 1 and Overwatch, okay? In fact, incidentally, the vast majority of people only want to play Battlefield 1 or Overwatch, so it's looking to me like that's just going to be what the sessions are going to be for patrons. It's going to be Battlefield 1 and Overwatch in the next few weeks, okay? So that's going to be Tuesday's gameplay stream. It's going to be multiplayer with the patrons. Tuesday night, again, I'm going to be working on the Final Fantasy 15 review, and I'm hoping to finish it and release it on KO Gaming on Tuesday night for you, okay? So that will now officially be the final major review for 2016. <clears throat> yes, I would like to review Pokemon Moon, <clears throat> but I need to finish it first, and I'm certainly nowhere near the end of the game. People were saying probably two to three more streams for me to finish it, so that's really not a concern of mine right now, okay? Wednesday is going to be a normal gameplay stream, not the multiplayer, but normal stream. So again, depending on how people voted on Monday, maybe I'll want to continue on with one of the new playthroughs that I've started, or maybe it'll be the final Final Fantasy session, or maybe it'll be more Pokemon Moon. We'll see. We'll play it by ear, okay? Uh, Wednesday night... I'm going to begin work finally on my year-end series, okay? So, two things are going to happen key this week. I personally am going to begin work on the top 10 most disappointing games of 2016 countdown. And yes, that countdown will be put out on KO Gaming. I am going to do it a little differently this year. What I'm going to try to do is not do one game per video, but instead maybe do, say, two, three games per video. So make it maybe a, a three-part countdown or four-part countdown rather than a ten-part countdown, all right? I'm going to try to do things a little bit differently to make it better this year, okay? So that's good. At the same time, okay, around the middle of this week, I am going to take all of the nominations on my kingofhate.com forums for the funniest moments of 2016, and I'm going to create the poll where you're going to be able to vote on the funniest moments of 2016. And boy, I am going to need your input in a huge way because we're going to have basically about a week, I'm thinking, for you to vote <clears throat> on the funniest moments. <clears throat> And what I do is directly based on that voting, that becomes my fan-voted Funniest Moments of 2016 countdown that'll probably end up beginning next week, okay? So, 
I'm going to need your input. And uh, trust me, I'll put it on Twitter. I'll make a video about it. I'll do everything about it so people are fully aware that this is out there. Not that you're just in the dark and you don't know what's going on. I want you to be fully aware of what's going on so that you can start voting and we can get that going. All right? <laughs> so, hopefully by the mid to late this week, you're going to start seeing the top uh, or excuse me, the top 10 most disappointing games of 2016 countdown start releasing on KO Gaming. So this week you're going to have the Final Fantasy 15 review and the beginning of the year end series on KO Gaming. Again, I can only emphasize if you haven't subscribed over there, please do. That's youtube.com forward slash KO Gaming one. If you don't want to miss out on the year end fun. Okay. Thursday is going to be another multiplayer day with the patrons and i believe I, i'm not 100 percent on this but i actually think it's two sessions of overwatch on thursday i'm not 100 percent on that but it's i think that's what it was if i'm remembering correctly okay and then friday we'll be back to a normal playthrough again it could be any of the the, the multiple things that i've mentioned we'll see what happens i may i may put all of these to polls i might every every one of these days monday wednesday and friday i may do a poll the night before on twitter where i take your feedback and we just play whatever won the poll okay we'll see um, and then Friday night, again, working on year-end series. Uh, actually, I take that back. I take that back. Friday night, we're, we're doing our errands. It's Saturday when I'm going to be doing a gameplay stream and then year-end series. And Saturday, again, I'll be returning to patron multiplayer. So this week, it goes like this. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, normal gameplay streams of ongoing playthroughs. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, patrons only multiplayer. That's the gameplay you'll see this week with the Final Fantasy 15 review and the year-end series beginning on KO Gaming and me needing your feedback for that uh, funniest moments of the year countdown over on the King of Hate forums and I'll let you know when that poll is live, okay? <clears throat> so that's pretty much it. It's a busy week. It's a packed week. It's variety. A lot of stuff going on this week and you're going to have a lot of control based on polling and stuff of what I actually begin to play this week. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I'd love to finish off Final Fantasy 15. I'd love to continue Pokemon Moon. I'd love to start either of these games. So in my opinion, every option is a winner. I'm going to go based off of what you tell me to do. Okay. Um, now, the only thing I want to address, the elephant in the room, because apparently, now I, I didn't know anything about this or whatever. I guess there were two demos that were released last week. And one was uh, Gravity Rush 2, and the other one was near, near 2 or near Automata or near 2 Automata. I don't know. And everyone's like, Phil, why didn't you drop everything to play these game demos? Why I don't understand. It seems like everyone on YouTube is playing them because it's the only new thing. Everyone's playing these gameplay demos. Why didn't you drop everything to play these games? Well, there's a pretty honest answer to that. Number one, because I'm busy. I'm in the middle of all this ongoing stuff. It doesn't make any sense to delay the stuff that I'm already behind on to drop stuff to play these impromptu demos out of nowhere. And number two, because I don't care about those games. Gravity Rush, Rush 1, excuse me, I played on the PS Vita. I hated it. I really did. Like, I did not like the game at all. I didn't like the, the, the premise. I didn't like the controls. I just didn't like it. I played it for a couple hours, and I was pretty disappointed. I never played it again. Near 2 apparently is related to Drakengard 3 and is related to these other games. People are saying it's like Devil May Cry, and I'm like, eh, I don't really care. I didn't play the other games in the series, and it doesn't seem to be anything that's really appealing to me. I've already pretty much got my January laid out with the Pokemon Moon, these two games, and my year-end series. I'm already going to be booked for the next few weeks, at least. So I'm not interested in playing demos of random stuff that I'm probably not going to end up playing the retail versions of anyway. That's why I didn't play them, and that's honestly why I have no interest in them. Okay? <clears throat> All right. Whew. So that's the week. A packed week. Variety of stuff. I'm excited for it. I'm hoping my voice holds out for it. As you can hear, my voice can hold out for a limited amount of time. But once I start talking for like 30 minutes, it dies out. And the good news is when I do gameplay commentary, unless I'm doing like a game where I have to read every single line, um, it's not that bad. And even, you know, I even say, well, what about Final Fantasy? Well, you know what? Final Fantasy doesn't have, especially the older ones, they don't have that much dialogue. Yeah, there's dialogue, but it's not like I'm reading books of dialogue. Uh, Pokemon could be pretty bad. Pokemon has a lot of that kind of stuff, okay? So for me, uh, I am a little nervous. Because if everyone says, I want to see Pokemon, 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 I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it with my voice, all right? But we'll see what happens. And at least we're going to have the multiplayer to break that up. So I do give my voice a little bit of rest. And please, let, by the end of this week, let my voice be back fully. Because you can hear it is getting better, but it's not fully healing. Hopefully by the end of this week, it's back, okay? <clears throat> all right. 
Two more quick things, and then we'll we'll sign off. First of all, Patreon, okay? I have not really been mentioning or pushing Patreon much at all recently because I've been so busy. First of all, I've been under the weather. I haven't even been doing formal pre-streams a lot of the time, or when I do a pre-stream, I'm not doing a formal plug segment or anything like that. There's only six days left in December, all right? Now, the goal for this month for Patreon is a marathon Twitch and chill stream, a seven plus hour stream where it's not going to be so much about the gameplay at all. It's going to be about me kind of talking with people in the stream chat and interacting with them more than anything else. And maybe even having unrelated conversations to the game while I'm kind of gaming. All right. <clears throat> if we hit the funding goal for this month, I'm going to be doing this marathon and people who pledge $5 or more are going to be able to nominate the games to see me play during the stream. Now, I know Stardew Valley is kind of a game that everyone seems to say is one of the best games for it. And by the way, Stardew Valley just came out for Xbox One, so that could be perfect. I could just kind of relax here on the love seat, messing around with the game a little bit while I talk with everyone, all right? Uh, but I need other suggestions. I don't know any other good kind of chill games. A lot of people have been saying there's these games that are made just for that kind of thing where you can interact with the stream chat and everything, but I don't know them, so I'm going to need to hear about this kind of stuff, and people will be suggesting them by nominating them by pledging $5 or more, okay? Now, I just want to say this. There's six days left in the month. Right now, it looks like we're going to hit the funding goal, but traditionally what happens at the end of every month is people realize, oh, I had a bigger pledge last month, and I don't want to do that big pledge this month, and they either lower their pledge or they withdraw their pledge. I guarantee you that's going to happen this month. And it hasn't happened yet. So I'm nervous that all of a sudden, one of these days, we're way above the goal and I'm going to go and we're going to be below the goal out of nowhere. And I'm just going to remind everyone, it's not like things have magically gotten better. In fact, I'll be honest, I just checked on YouTube and it looks like YouTube did terribly in December. My Everything I did on YouTube. Apparently YouTube's claiming no one watched my playthroughs, no one watched my vlogs, no one watched my reviews, and it's saying that I have low, low, low views. And I'm just sitting there like, well, listen, I did the same thing I do every year. I covered all the games I could. Yeah, I'm late to the game when it comes to the year-end series, and I know that does typically give me a boost, but there was nothing I could do about it. So right now, basically, it looks like December was a terrible month business-wise for me. If you want to help with that and allow me to keep doing this full time, please pledge to my Patreon. It's the best way that you can contribute because it goes straight to me. A lot of people say, I'll oh, sub on Twitch. You have to realize when you sub on Twitch, they take 50% of that, okay? So if you really want to go above and beyond, Patreon is the way to do it, all right? As little as a dollar helps, please consider pledging if you have not, all right? Just throwing that out there because I have not talked about it a lot recently, and now we're at the end of the month. This is my last chance, basically, to appeal to you because next week, it'll be too late. Next week on the week of preview, it'll already be January 1st, the new year, the new month, and it's too late to pledge for December, okay? So please consider pledging if you haven't, especially if you've been liking all the stuff I'm doing recently and you saw how I've toughed through this cold to constantly be here on stream and put out the content for you. I hope you appreciate it, and if you want to see this continue, please consider pledging. All right, and by the way, there's the link right there. And the last thing I want to say before I end, happy holidays, everyone. I'm obviously recording this really late on Christmas night. I definitely hope that you had a good uh, Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or whatever it is, Festivus, whatever holiday it is that you celebrate. If you celebrate, I hope you had a good and safe one. Um, please check out the holiday content, the WWE Fantasy Sims and my Christmas and Chill stream from today. I think both of them were pretty exceptionally good, and you'll enjoy either one when you get the chance, all right? Again, the link to today's Chill stream is in the description of this video. Check that out, and you can check out those Sims over on DSP Gaming. Without further ado, the final time, it's time to say thank you to the November patrons who made this upcoming multiplayer gameplay of this week possible. Thanks a lot, everyone. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and to all a good night. On with the thanks. See you tomorrow. Remember to vote tonight on Twitter. I want you to see you tomorrow. See you then. Peace out.